Morning, cool gear garagers. Bruce here from the Cool Gear Garage. <coughs> you ever wake up so early, like 3:30 in the morning, and uh, you got all these ideas running through your head of what you want to do and the shelves you want to put in and the and the all of the details you want to take care of, and you're just so excited to get started. Well, it's now uh, it's only 7:20 in the morning on Saturday. Um, I came out here just to get a little bit of a feel for what I'm working on today, what I'm going to do and how I'm going to do it and uh, I come up with some good ideas I got some shopping to do today some boring stuff that's not gonna I'll show you in the end product and, and I'll be doing some painting so not really gonna show you much here today on this one project I am gonna get started on is my uh, rear wheel uh, holders full-size rear wheel holders that I'm gonna mount to the back of the door you'll see it today Welcome back you too I have uh, Take it upon myself to come up with a system whereby I want to bolt my two spare tires to the back of the trailer. I want to put one on this side here and one on this side here. So that when the door is down, uh, it's, it also will not interfere with the tires uh, on, the, on the back of the trailer. So what I've done, in my past couple of videos, I fabricated up a couple of uh, brackets. A bracket that's going to go on the inside of the trailer and a bracket that's going to go on the outside of the trailer that the tire sits on and sits in and then this one here it gets it gets bolted through sandwiching the back of the, the thickness of the wall of the trailer and then the, the tire fits on there now there's a there's a butt to it you cannot put the you cannot put the tire on this system and you cannot take it off of the system without lowering the pressure of the tire so it's kind of part of an anti-theft system that I have. So when I, when I mount the system onto the trailer, I'm gonna do the brackets. And then what I'm gonna do is you flatten the tire slightly. You put the tire on it over top of the bolts and then you inflate the tire and you can't pull the tire off. It, 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 there's no way, they, nobody will figure that out um, out there. And what I can do is I can, I can drill a little hole in behind on one of these rods and put a small uh, padlock on it. But, I'm gonna uh, leave this thing in place. I'm gonna show you how to install a couple of these uh, brackets here. But let me just run through here quickly. So what we have, as you can see, this there's the tire on there. I've, I've deflated it a touch. You can see the, uh, you can see the uh, bolts coming through. Now those I can cut off at a cer any certain length that I want once I uh, determine what I want. Uh, for the bolts coming out and then of course this is the metal bracket that goes on the outside and this is the metal bracket that goes on the inside with the holes drilled through it and it's, so it's sandwiching the back door so you have you've got a thick door these are all structural doors and you have got ply, three quarter inch plywood on the inside and then you have your metal sheeting on the outside so between the two uh, surfaces on the inside and the outside it's going to be strong enough to take the pressure of of the bouncing jiggling uh, uh tire on the there and like i said the way it sits is the tire itself actually sits down on a on a pe that piece of metal down there you can see it right down there it's a metal there the flat metal so it works really good it's kind of my own little system that i came up with and uh just stay tuned you can watch me put it together. We've got this here, this metal. It is there is a stud that runs down here. You can see the structural stud, and it's gonna uh, clamp on both sides there. And we go 
go there. Now what we do is we are going to mount the other part of it. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about with regards to putting the tire on and taking the tire off. So. Uh, bars are in. She's on there tight. This is the support that goes against here. And then the tire. It's on, it's in. I can take it one step farther. I can drill a hole. I'm going to cut these off. So now I know I don't want them to project any further down than the actual wheel itself. I can cut, cut these little uh, studs off. And if I drill a hole through the inside of these things, I can I can throw a little padlock on, and uh, I can I can padlock the wheel from the, spinning the nuts off, you know, uh, and the way you go. So here we are. It's in. It's on. It's done. The ramp comes down. And the tire's on. Even with those extra studs being a little longer than I wanted, the ramp comes down. It's a little bit uh, less of a distance. You can see because I'm coming up a hill here. You'll see that the, uh, the the tailgate there is sitting up on a hill, and the tire is of nowhere near getting into the way of the uh, of the unit. And then this here. It's got is the plate that I secure down onto the ground onto the plywood there onto the through the three quarter inch it will not impede at all with the uh, with what I got on the go and uh, there we have it a really simple yet um, unique design I've, I've put together for uh, this here wheel system makes the door a little heavier I'm not gonna lie, it's a little heavier. But at the end of the day, it's about carrying spare tires. It's about having a system that works for your uh, for your trailer that uh, you can actually um, secure your wheels, carry your wheels for one. You don't have to get into your living space. You don't want you don't want dirty old wheels inside there. Um, you just you're just keeping everything outside. And that's it. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to mount the second one on there for the, the second tire. When you're traveling in Dempster Highway, you want to have uh, two really good tires. And I said in my previous videos, those are low range E, uh, 10 ply rating, the, the heaviest rating tire I could get for this. And she's uh, ready to go to for the road now. So I will, uh, I won't bore you with the, the next, the, the next me installing the next tire. But you get the idea on on what I'm going to be doing. So, uh, yeah, that's uh, that's going to be it. And if uh, you've enjoyed this video, hey, give it a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it if you subscribed. It's about uh, reaching out to our uh, viewership in YouTube and coming up with some good ideas and ideas that um, you know I've seen on from other YouTube videos. And we just support each other. That's all I'm looking to do is just hear uh, hear back. Uh, if you've got feedback and you want to see me do th different things or different suggestions as to what I can do, let me know. I'm interested in hearing uh, what you've got to say. So, hey, weekend is almost done. I will be getting uh, back to a, um, on the inside there and show you where I'm at for the rest of the week, for the weekend's end of work. So, okay, Bruce from the Cool Garage, out. <laughs>